godlike. What is up, guys? God like Matt, we are back with some more Dark Souls. Now, as I said, uh, now that we beat the game, all we really have left to do is just odds and ends. Uh, clean up stuff. Oh! This fucking mammoth of an enemy. Ha ha ha, see what Ooh! Sorry there, W. Wow, man, he swings like a bitch. Now, first thing I want to say before I say anything at all is if I fucking get invaded here, I am gonna lose my shit. Like, there is no fucking way. There's just no way. If I get invaded here, I won't believe it. Cause... It'll just be too unbelievable. I fucking... Am so high level. Like, I am way past the point of what I need to be able to do this area. Like, I... I came here so late that if I were to get invaded, it would just be absurd. Truly, it would. And and if it happens, I don't know what the hell I'm going to think. But anyways. So, uh, we're coming back here to do this area. Uh, now, you, a lot of you guys may be wondering, why the fuck didn't I do it, like, decades ago, back when I first got here? Well, there is a reason for that. Oh, God, that was almost awful. But anyways, um... Reason why I didn't do this place uh, the first time I came here is because uh, I don't remember where all the loot is in this place. Um, I really hate this area. Like as I said before, you get invaded here a lot. Uh, this is a a pretty main area for PvP. Again, it's another rat covenant area. So uh, yeah, that sucks. But. Uh, also, the boss here is a fucking dick. Uh, in my opinion, the boss of this area is one of the harder bosses in the game. Because there's not a lot of bosses in this game that I think are challenging, personally. But the ones that I do, I really do. Oh, shit. Fuck, man, that was annoying. But, um... Yeah, the, the boss in this place is no slouch. He will fuck you up if you're not careful. Switching them down. Alright. Wait a minute, what? Was this always here? Uh, where the hell does this go? Shit. I don't trust this. It's gotta be there. Oh, it's not. Alright. But, uh, also, on top of the fact that, uh, well, actually, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. All I wanted to say was, uh, the main reason for doing this area, what happens if he puts it over here? Um, we need the boss soul from the, from this boss that's in this level. C really? Oh my god, what a waste. Come out, you fucking dick. Or I'll just kill you. How about that? Yeah, the boss soul, uh, you can give it to Strayed to make a unique pyromancy. And you can only get it via that boss, and I definitely don't want to fight this boss in New Game Plus, so... That's the number one rule, really. Like, before you, uh, enter New Game Plus... Oh, God. Alright. Just, uh, before you enter New Game Plus, just make sure that you have done everything you need to do before you end the game, like, trophy-wise. Because there's so much you can do before beating the game, like... Oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit, it's been a while since I've seen one of those. Completely caught me off guard. But, um... Yeah, uh, for example... For trophy wise, one of the main things that you should not forget to do is uh, 
By all the spells, miracles, hexes, and pyromancies from as many NPCs as you can before you finish the game. Because it is a pain in the ass to, uh, you know, you can only have access to all the NPCs after you meet them. Holy shit. I get fucked. Ugh. I wonder why Gavlan is the only nice one of these dudes. Like, these dudes are all Gavlan, as you can see. And he's the only one that's nice. So that's strange. But yeah, like, it's definitely a pain to have to gain access to every NPC in the game again. Uh, as you can see, there's a shit tillion amount of Pharaoh's Lockstones. Half of them are just garbage. Like, half of them don't even do anything. Are you fucking... Oh god. <sighs> Fuck me. I really hate this dude. His shield is what pisses me off. Fuck me. But, uh, yeah, I'm try I've been visiting all the vendors that I've seen throughout the game, and I've been trying to buy all the stuff that I've missed. So that's a thing. But anyways, here we are at the boss. Now, this boss may or may not kick my ass. It's a possibility. Uh, hopefully not. But I'm going to check the time. So I'll... One second. All right, let's see what we can do. Bring it. So yeah, beginning of this boss fight sucks because there's four of these fuckers. Got to kill them really quick. I totally forgot about the toxic. Uh, yeah, he's not actually as hard as I remember. You motherfucker. Does he not look like a wolf? Because apparently he's a rat. I mean, he's a pretty sick looking rat. But yeah, this is the key to fighting this boss. Just stay under his legs. And he can't touch you. Um, the main hard part is the fact that you get toxic right at the start. By the four fuckers. Uh, I made him look like a piece of shit because I fought him way later in the game than I was supposed to. I was supposed to have this boss done ages ago, but I rinsed him. Like, my weapon's way stronger than it should be for this point. I have way more upgrades and miracles than I shouldn't, which is why I dominated him so hard. But yeah. Why comest thou here, human? Thy treason will not go unpunished. Be gone. I will gaze upon thee no longer. Oh come on! Don't be mad, bro. I can't remember if he sells anything. Let's find out. Nice. Speak then. <laughs> I love how he's like, just all of a sudden he's just cool with me now. My servant. There has been. I am. My servant. Alright. Okay, so we are... Done. We are finished this area, so now I'm gonna go fucking give straight his soul. That he's been so hungry for. Because we all know he wants it. Uh, by this point of the game, there's not much point in the Pharaoh's Lockstones. Uh, although I think they do carry over to New Game Plus, actually, so... But, again, if you've looted everything in the game up to this point, there's no reason for them. So, like, re really, you could try your luck on all those Pharaoh's Lockstone holes, but... I've never done it myself. I don't know which ones are, uh, useful and which ones aren't, because I know half of them are traps. So, like, you could try your luck, but 
Yeah, there's not much fucking point. Uh, just checking to see. Yeah, I've bought in every spell from him. So now we just give him the Royal Rat Authority Soul, which gives us this Pyromancy Acid Surge. Alright, so now we got that. And uh, I will cut back to when I know what the hell I'm doing next. Alright, so I've decided what I plan on doing next. But... Before I can finish it, I'm gonna need some more money. Sadly. Oh shit. Don't poison me, bro. No. Mother. Uh, yeah, so I've decided to do the Pilgrims of Dark. So I'm gonna fucking... Yeah, I know, dude. Just let me do it. There. So, uh, what you do is, in order to rank up this covenant, you gotta do these, these mini little optional dungeons. And the only way to access them is that there's three of them, hence three ranks of the Covenant. To rank up the Covenant all three times, you gotta do all three side dungeons. And I'm in one of them right now. And uh, yes, you can get invaded in the, these places, which is hella annoying, so you're gonna wanna be careful there. Uh, fuck. Will I? I didn't even know I had this ring. That's crazy. Uh, will I have a shitty roll if I put on my abyss seal? Oh, okay, it's still good. All right. So, <clears throat> um, yeah. In order to rank up the covenant, you got to do all three of these uh, fucking optional dungeons. Oh wow, I hurt. Nice. Oh, also, I decided to go back to hexes, because, um, fuck miracles. It takes way too goddamn long to get them going, and I hate it. Ow. No! Alright, so the cheap way to do this part is if you just LOS this guy, he will come running to you, as you see. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I could be in trouble here. Oh. Well, I almost got fucking fucked up. Jesus Christ. Oh, you might have just burning out. Just burning out. Oh, I can't talk when I'm fucking fighting, man. It's impossible. I'm shitty at multitasking. But anyways, I went back to X's because fuck miracles. I'm so sick of trying to make them work. They're just way too weak, and I'm sick of it. And, uh, yeah, the reason why you need to fully upgrade the Pilgrims of Dark Covenant is you get, um, not just one, but a few hexes for doing it. Uh, there's an optional boss at the end of the third dungeon called Dark Lurker and he's one of the hardest bosses in the game easily holy fuck I almost walked to my fucking death I that was me fucking getting angry about how stupid I almost was thank god I wasn't uh yeah I'm gonna have to use my flame butter to fly here that's pretty funny to think about. If you didn't have any flame butterflies, you'd be fucked. Because you can't light these either way. Or, unless you have them. Uh, now, lighting the torch is how you win. Like, now that I've lit this torch, this dungeon is considered complete. You don't even need to finish it. Um, as long as you light that torch, you get the rank up. And there's a torch in every one of these side dungeons. They're very short. And they have pretty powerful enemies in them, so... But I'm pretty powerful myself. Oh, shit. Whoa! 
<laughs> it's like fucking whack-a-mole with pyromancies. All right, come on, asshole. Get your ass up here. All right, all right, all right. I get it, I get it, I get it. I hate this place, man. These fucking guys. My problem is targeting them. Like, if they were just in range, I would just target them and do what I'm doing right now. Just keep shooting uh, fucking hexes at them until they die. Because I do a lot of damage. The problem is fucking targeting them. Come on. Mine. Wow, I almost fucking owned him in one shot. That was amazing. But yeah, I figure I might as well start these now because A, I need money. Uh, I used a soul vessel, as you know, to change myself to hexes. But I actually fucked up and put stats in the wrong thing. I, I almost always do that. It's nothing new. But yeah, so I need to make some money and rank up to fix this. Where the hell am I? Jesus, it's so dark in here. Oh, right. This is... Alright, I thought there was an item there, but I guess not. But yeah, so I figured, why not do these? Now, this is the exit. Don't be alarmed by uh, the bottomless pit. If you fall in, you actually complete it. So... There, I did the first one, but... um. Oh yeah, I remember what I was trying to tell you guys, but then I got so distracted by the fucking enemies. Uh, you need, like, so I've done one so far. There, your devotion of your covenant has deepened. Young undead, let us see. You have what once, but sleep. It is... Oh, cool, he gave me fucking awesome. But, uh, also I bought everything I needed to from this dude, as you can see. However, uh, the thing about him is, uh, in order to open these dungeons, you have to find, uh, you can only open the dungeon in the three areas that you originally met him, uh, Dark Diver Grandal. There's three areas you meet him in the game, and hence the three areas where you can enter the dungeon. But the thing is, what you should do is you should enter the one at Drang Lake Castle last. Uh, so the first one is at the Black Gulch, that's the first time you meet him. The second time is in the Shaded Woods, so you should do that dungeon second. And then save the third and final dungeon with Dark Lurker in it for the one at Dragon Lake Castle. The reason why I say this is because it's, it's the only one that's right next to a bonfire. Uh, and that is incredibly useful considering the boss. Uh, obviously, you're gonna want to have a bonfire next to the boss before you fight them because that's just standard So that's the best way to do it. You should always save the Drang Lake Castle one for last Because no matter what order you do them in The last one you do will always have Dark Lurker in it So you could make like theoretically you could put Dark Lurker in any of the three dungeons depending on the, the order you do them so you should be careful on which one. You should always save the one at Drang Lake Castle for last. So here's the next entrance. This thing is always here. That's how you know you can enter the dungeon. And he'll be right next to it, so we're just going to give him another human FG. Oh, and uh, if you ever die in the dungeon, uh, the, the dungeon door closes. So... You can waste a lot of human FGs if you keep dying in here, so that's a that's a no-no. But I'm gonna check the time, so one sec. Alright, let's start the next dungeon. Shall we? I need some money, man. I need money. I need to put two points into faith, because I don't have enough faith to use uh, a certain hex. Uh, shit, I can just show you here. Profound Still, the one I have equipped right now, it's an insanely powerful hex against spell users. What it does is when you use it, everyone around you can't cast for 30 seconds. They can't cast anything. So it wrecks spellcasters, especially if they rely on their spells 
And uh, the thing about Dark Lurker, which is the optional boss I was telling you about at the end of this dungeon, the thing about Dark Lurker is every single move he has is a spell. Oh shit, I didn't realize he was coming. Oh my god, that knocked me down? Are you serious? Alright, gonna fuck you up. Which is why I said shit when you heard me say shit just now Because I saw him walking up. I knew that's what was gonna happen. I was like immediately it registered in my brain All right, so as I was saying about the boss uh, When you use profound still on him He can't use any spells uh, Is he coming to fight me? I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, they both are. Shit. Alright. Um, but yeah, he only has one melee attack. So, if you use Profound Still on him, the fight is pretty much over. For 30 seconds. Uh, but that's a lot of time to be able to fuck him up. So, you know, Profound Still, I find that's the best way to fight him. Oh, motherfucker. Shit. Oh wow, he has a sword? Alright. No! Don't heal, you fuck. Did I give you permission? But anyways, uh... So yeah, Profound Still, the key to beating Dark Lurker, in my opinion, because it royally fucks him. The only reason he's so hard is because he has 8 million spells that deal over half your health each. So if you use Profound Still on him, you not only have enough, enough time to wreck his ass, but you also have enough time to use a Spice to give yourself another Profound Still cast. Uh, because you only get one cast, that's the one shitty thing about the move. Uh, cause the move's pretty damn OP, so it makes sense that there's only one cast, but, uh... Yeah, so... Now, when I first beat Dark Lurker, the very first time I ever fought him, I had this crazy strategy. This was back when miracles were really fucking good, like, before they got nerfed. What I'd do is, I had so many lightning spears that... I, as soon as the fight starts, I would just throw them all at him, and then he'd be near death by the time I ran out. And then I could just either use a, another spice to get more spears and fuck him up, or I'd just run up and melee him. And that would be the fight. And that, that was just exactly how it went. Which was pretty funny. It was a very standard, straightforward way but the second time I ever fought him I tried using profound still and it worked beautifully now another thing about the the fight or the boss is that uh, when he gets yeah. to half health he um May the devil. that's weird it didn't say my covenant ranked up but uh when you get to half health or when you get him to half health he um He's, he, he splits into two, and that's when the fight gets really difficult, because there's fucking two of them. Holy fuck, I, I can't believe how much damage I did. Those are very powerful enemies. Seeing me hit them that hard is crazy. But, uh, yeah, sadly, I still need more money. I think I'm going to level up, though. But, yeah, so, um, you get a few hexes for beating Dark Lurker. 
uh, not only from him, like, you can make a hex from his soul, but you also get a hex from Dark Diver Grandal as a reward for ranking up the Covenant. So that's the whole reason behind all that. So it, you do have to do it if you want the Platinum. Sadly. And I just need one more Faith and I'll be able to use Profound still, since I fucked up so hard after using the Soul Vessel. But uh, I'll cut back to when I'm ready for the next part. Alright, here we are, lads. The final step. This is the last dungeon. Which is located at Drangling Castle, as I said. This was the door I opened up. It was the last door I needed to open up uh, when we were killing the enemies next to the... So, uh, let's not have a repeat of last time. There we go. So I, I did not recall that there was a gap there. Completely forgot about that. Now, what I like about the dungeon at Drangley Castle. Not only is it the most beneficial one, because it's next to a bonfire, but it's also the easiest one. Which is something I really like about it. I'm gonna use some of these instead of health, because I really don't want to waste all my health before I get to Dark Lurker. I imagine I'm going to have to spin it quite a bit. Uh, oh yeah, I'm also wearing the Hex Ring, if you guys didn't know. Oh no, wait, actually I'm not, I just lied. Well, how about that? Hey, asshole. Wanna rumble? You wanna rumble with me, bro? I don't think you do. Man, I don't like this guy. I don't like the, the jive he's giving me. What the fuck? No, fuck you. Burn in hell. Alright. I felt like he was trying to style on me, but... He was too fucking stupid... ...to do such a thing. So here's the torch. Here we go. Gonna light this bitch up. Dark Lurker don't like things to be lit. Hence the name Dark Lurker. She lurks, I mean he lurks in the fucking dark. I always call him a she by accident because he looks like a girl. Like, I don't know. He is a really fucking cool looking boss though, I gotta say. Like, he looks like, um, he looks like one of the angels from Diablo. Perfect way to describe him. He looks just like him. And I always thought the angels looked sick in Diablo. Alright. We are ready for this fucking boss fight. So. Here's the plan. We're gonna profound still as quickly as possible. Uh, but I gotta make. I also gotta make sure I'm close to him. Otherwise, it won't work. But, yeah. So, I'm gonna profound still him. And then I'm gonna fuck his ass up. With, uh, pyromancies. Um. And I'll need the spices on. Okay. I'm nervous. I'm nervous as hell. But here we go. This is one of the hardest boss fights in the game. Alright, alright. Interesting. Oh, well that was the worst thing that could have happened. Wow, that sucked.
And that's a uh, real interesting trick you got there, buddy. Shit, he can cast again. Whoa. Hang on, I got this, I got this. See why that boss is so hard. I kind of saw that coming, honestly. Uh, I, re I really felt like he'd beat me. The problem with, like, my main problem with him is it isn't even him that's the problem. The problem is me. And the reason I say this is because what makes the battle so difficult is when you use Profound Still, he can't cast a spell for 30 seconds. Now, normally, I would go fucking ape shit on him knowing this. But the problem was that I had to spend so much of my time cycling through my moves that I barely had any time to utilize the fact that he can't cast. Because I have six different spells here. Plus cycling through my spices and flasks, it takes up a lot of time, especially if I take damage. So it's it's really difficult. Um, I also had no idea that my pyromancy sucked so much ass. Uh, I was under the impression that Firestorm hit targets multiple times. At least that's how it used to work. But when I was hitting him with it, He'd literally only take damage once. He'd take one good chunk as soon as I threw out the move, and then that would be it. He wouldn't take any more damage. So that was like, really, wow. Like the fight really didn't go how I thought it would. It was a lot stupider than I thought, but you know what? I learned from it and now I'm gonna have a much different approach. So thank you guys for watching. That was all we had time for. And I, uh, I guess when I start the next part, you'll, uh, we'll start the boss fight. So I will see you guys in my next video when I get my rematch.